right, here we go again. We're going to find out this equation we're given as a graph. All right, another graph of an absolute value function appears. And what we want to do is we want to find the equation. All right, find the equation for this curve. Find the equation. So, um, what we have is first we have to identify what it is. Well, this is definitely a, appears to be a V shaped curve, so it's going to be an absolute value function. Absolute value function. Um, absolute value functions, just so you know, all right, have a V shaped curve. Um, the parent function always starts at the origin, 0, 0 is the first x, and we have that. Now, from here, we're going to now find, um, fill in this chart, a x minus h plus k. All right, we're going to try to fill in that little um, abbreviation right there. Okay, and to do that, we have to figure out the transformation. So we want to really find out, find the vertex first. Find the vertex. All right, find the vertex. Now, to find the vertex, we can identify the vertex that appears to be right here. All right, and where does that vertex go? Now, the vertex appears to be where we need to be one, two, three, four, five, five to the left, left five. All right, and then we're going to go up one, and that's what appears to be that. So we have a vertex then of, um, that's a left five. I'm sorry, a right five. I'm laughing at myself. All right, right five, and then up one. Okay, so let's take that and plug it in here and find out what that will be. We have y equals a, we have x minus five, and be plus one. All right, and that will be, give us where the vertex we move to. Now, the final thing is now we have to find, so let's check, we got that done. Now we have to find the a value if there is an a value. I'm just going to pull this up. We have to find the a value. Now, to find the a value, we need to plug in a point. Plug in the point. Other than the vertex. Other than the vertex. So, over here, um, let's figure out another point. It appears that I have a point right there of 2, 4. So, there's a point 2, 4 I'm going to use. So, I'm going to use this point 2, 4. All right. And by doing so, I'm going to take this. I'm going to make this little um, blue. All right. So, we're going to plug in that point 2, 4. Okay, plug in point, and this is 2, 4. All right, so we're going to have 5 equals A. We're going to plug in the 2. All right, minus 5 plus 1. From here, we're going to go over there, and we're going to... Oops, plug in the wrong thing. Make sure you plug in the correct value again, right? All right, so we have this right here. So we're going to subtract 1, and we solve this. So we have A is going to equal negative... Three right there, and just pick one that's finding their way. So that's going to equal three. Um, we have a or three a. Three a is going to equal one. Okay, so we know that a is just equal to one. So we plug that back in there and we get our final equation. Then, what's the equation of this? We should have y equals one for a. So there's our have answer there. We have x well, minus five plus one, and that's going to be our final equation for that graph. All right. Well, let's do another one right, right away. Okay. We need to do this. Here we go. So let's, let's kind of just keep on going. Um, one final example. All right. Our third example in the tutorial set. Um, what we have is, once again, let's find out. It appears to be a absolute value graph. All right. So we're going to fill this in. A x minus h plus k. It appears that, oh, look at this. We have the values are moving over by two. So that should be this right here. Find the vertex first. All right, find the vertex. First thing. So what happens appears everything's moved to the left. All right, negative or left four. Move down eight. Down eight. So we have a vertex of um, negative four, negative eight. I'll plug that in there then. Excuse me. All right, we have y equals a. We have x plus 4, and it's going to be minus 8. Because you put the negative 4 in there, and then the negative and the negative will cancel out, and you get plus 4. Okay. Once we have that, we now need to find another point, and then we need to figure out, let's check. Now we need to figure out, um, find the a value. Find a. All right, how do you do that? Plug in other points. Okay, so plug in our other point. What other points do we have here? Well, it appears we have another point at negative 2, negative 2. Alright, so I'm going to use that point, negative 2, negative 2. Oops. 
Always. All right, so we'll do that. Um, plug in two, negative two in for y, if a. Plug in negative two, I have to do the same thing, plus four, and eight. Um, I'm going to add eight to the other side. Six. It's going to turn to two a. All right, and then a is going to equal three. Right. Appears to be a vertical stretch, and that's what happened here. So we get our final equation. Make sure you write this out. Y equals three times quantity x plus four minus eight. All right, and that's what we got there. Okay. Well, I hope this helped you out. Um, two examples of how to find absolute value equations given a graph. Key thing: find the vertex. Find the a value by plugging in a point and plug the values into that basic absolute value equation. And you're good to go. All right. Well, good luck. You got less than the rest of your problems.